Elbow Grease Productions in association with MichaelJacksonInsider.com presents Hi, this is Pearl Jr. with MichaelJacksonInsider.com bringing you yet another episode in the life and or death of Michael Joe Jackson. Now there's been a burning question that people have. They say, will Michael Jackson go to jail if he faked his death? And I've addressed this in the Suicide E-Movie book. I've addressed this in the Alive documentary, but I just feel like it's time to kind of go over and add some more info to it. Well, if I'm looking directly at the facts, I don't think he would go to jail because number one, it is not against the law to disappear. Number two, I went down to the second largest law library, which happens to be in Los Angeles. And I asked the librarian there, is it against the law to fake his death? And he said no one had ever asked him that before. And that no, he doesn't believe there's a law in the book against faking their death. Now, what you can't do in the act of faking your death, you cannot commit a crime, a felony, in the act of disappearing or faking your death. Now, number one, you can't collect insurance. We know that there's no insurance that's been paid off. We know that through the AEG trial, we know that through Lloyds of London filing a lawsuit, we just know that there's been no insurance paid on that. Michael also had life insurance, and I happened to find out who that carrier was and I emailed them and of course they ignored me, okay? So that's probably telling me that Michael probably cashed out on that life insurance before even he faked his death and canceled that policy. And also you cannot call in and make a false police report. Well, Michael Jackson didn't make a false police report. You gotta remember Alberto Alvarez called 911. And in that 911 call, guess what? The name of Michael Jackson was never mentioned. We have a, a gentleman here that needs help and he's not breathing here. He's not breathing and we need to, we're trying to pump him, but he's not, he's not Okay, okay, how old is he? He's uh, 50 years old, sir. 50. Okay. Now, also, you cannot run from your debts. We know that Michael's been paying all his debts off, and you can't run from the law. And we know Michael was not a criminal, and the law was not looking for him. Nor can you not pay your taxes. So now I understand why the Michael Jackson estate is suing the IRS, because they got to get those taxes under control. So those are the biggies in which he did not break the law. Now. What if he really was the puppet master in the whole fake death and switched out the body, which I believe is the only way possible, that everybody thinks that that dead body that looked like a cancer hospice patient, according to the EMT, but according to This Is It, just 12 hours earlier, he didn't look like a cancer death patient, hospice patient. And also in that autopsy picture, which we believe is fake, he doesn't look like a hospice patient that was just riddled with a long-term illness with a no resuscitation order. So we know something doesn't make sense there. Also, you have to remember that Michaels had many, many body doubles, many, many wax figures, many people that were impersonators. So we have to remember, did the law really make a mistake there? Did they not check the fingerprints to see if they match that of the real Michael Joe Jackson? And also the autopsy says the body was identified by a driver's license and not by any family member. Katherine Jackson, she just told people recently that she never saw Michael's dead body. For Michael Jackson's children, the news was unbelievable. They went back in that morgue where Michael was about 10 times when I was in that room. I couldn't, I couldn't go. And so when Latoya came, she kept going back there too. I said, what are you all doing back there? She said, the children are hugging Michael and kissing him. And, you know, he was dead, but they were still doing that. You didn't want to see Michael? Not, not that way, no. I wanted to remember him when he was smiling. LaToya claims that she signed the death certificate 
But there's no signature of LaToya signing the death certificate. Her name was on there as someone that was informed of the death. And remember, LaToya had the laser eye surgery right after the death announcement. Wink, wink, nod, nod. And also, when the media ignored all the death hoax clues, is that Michael Joe Jackson's fault? Gotta remember, guys, that I'm not just a fan. I am the business owner of Elbow Grease Productions, which is a full-fledged media company, and I'm out there telling the truth. So is it Michael's fault that the media and everybody else decided to ignore all the death hoax clues that he left? And my favorite clue, which is World Weekly News, March 29, 1994, was an article saying that Michael Jackson plans to fake his death. And then it was republished five days before the death announcement, which is June 20th. Michael Jackson plans to fake his own death. And then on June 25th, the day of the death announcement, the article read, Michael Jackson faked his death. And then on the Michael album, here is not only the words, I live, which at one time was the biggest poster ever in Guinness Books of World Records, but there is a cover of World Weekly News. Now there are glitches in this, of course, Conrad Murray going to jail. <gasps> Did he really go to jail? No one's ever saw him in jail except for the DeBarge who was married to Janet Jackson. Really? Is he the only one that ever said he saw Conrad Murray in jail? And also all the media was outside waiting for Conrad Murray to come out. And of course he didn't come out that way, but TMZ happened to catch him down the street at In-N-Out Burger. Wink, wink, nod, nod. And also, is the FBI involved? Did they give Michael the permission to start a new and the media efforts to destroy Michael Jackson so that he would go bankrupt and he would have to give up his catalog? So did the FBI really give him permission? Why else did Marlon Jackson, Michael's brother, have the FBI hat on on June 26, 2009, the day after the death announcement? And then Randy Jackson drove him to the taping of Jackson Family Dynasty, where the brothers are rehearsing. Hmm. And when the district attorney brought up charges against Conrad Murray for involuntary manslaughter, why did they use his wrong name? We know that Michael's real and true name is Michael Joe Jackson, as in Janet Demita Joe Jackson. It's not Janet Demita Joseph Jackson. It's Janet Demita Joe Jackson, just like it's Michael Joe Jackson, not Michael Joseph Jackson. And why didn't he check out Michael's real name? And is it Michael's fault that there was no verification that the fingerprints of the dead body matching that of Michael Joe Jackson? I never heard any of that, nor have I heard of the DNA matching that of Michael Joe Jackson. It's easy enough, get uh, Catherine and Joseph's DNA and see if that matches that dead body. But this is the best one of all. FBI spokesperson Bill Carter says it is not illegal to fake your death. And lastly, this is the best one of all. Of course, there's a reason why there's no name on the grave. And of course, there's a reason why Michael's not listed as being buried, interned at Forest Lawn, because there's a funeral rule guided by the FTC, Federal Trade Commission, which states that the funeral parlors cannot act deceptively or have any misrepresentation. Well, guys, this is Pearl Jr. with MichaelJacksonInsider.com, and I will see you next time. Thousands believed Tupac did it. Millions believed Elvis did it. But did Michael Jackson really do it? E-movie book, Suicide. Did Michael Jackson fake his death to save his life? By author Pearl Jr. It's the most shocking true story of our lifetime. Order yours today. Go to MichaelJacksonSuicide.com. That's MichaelJacksonSuicide.com. <laughs>